no props necessarily needed tonight, but if you just know you love having your yoga block, your yoga strap, whatever it is that you normally typically like to use and you want them nearby, then always have them nearby. We're going to sit on our butts with our knees bent with just a little bit of a a little bit of a rounding of the back. So create a nice bit of space between your legs so that your belly and chest can rest comfortably. And then just let your chin tuck down, hand hold whatever feels the most comfortable. And then just take a few seconds here just to come into your breath. Take a nice deep inhalation, a nice slow exhalation. Just for a moment here, if your eyes weren't already closed down, see if you can just close your eyes down for a moment and tune in and notice the space between your shoulder blades and the back side of your body. Maybe go down a couple of inches, so think upper middle back, and then just see if you can notice or feel the movement of breath in that space of your body. Take one more breath here, just seeing if we can tune into that space of that upper middle back. And then before we move away from this place of gentle stillness, set an intention here to honor your mind and your body throughout your practice. Never doing anything in your practice that would cause your body pain and treating yourself with love, care, and respect. Cool, and then with that intention set, we're gonna keep this sort of folded rounded shape of the body, but now just let your hands drop down. So if they weren't already there, let your hands just catch hold of your shins. And then we're gonna lift the toes and the balls of the feet. You're gonna rock back into your sits bones a little bit and then let the toes float back down to the ground. Lift your toes and the balls of the feet and then let your toes soften down and just keep your belly and your chest connected to the thighs. Lift your toes up and lower them back down and do about two or three more just like that. Just moving in the ankle joint, Feeling your feet connect to the floor as you touch down. Nice. And then once you've completed those little lifts of the toes and the balls of the feet, we're going to walk our hands up a little bit further. Now catching hold of the kneecaps and move into a seated cat cow here. Lift your chest, lift your chin, arch your back. Round your back, round your shoulders, tuck your chin into your chest. Make as much space through the front of the body. So as you lift your chest, you're going to squeeze those shoulder blades. But then as you round back, you're going to hollow out the belly best you can. Round those shoulders, tuck your chin in like you're holding a big beach ball in your lap. And then lift your chest, squeeze the shoulder blades, round your back. Take your time here. Take a couple of more cycles of breath, just moving with your breaths rhythm in any way that works good for you. Nice, and then keep that bent knee position, but find a fairly neutral spine. Hands are gonna come behind the back, but we're gonna walk. So fingertips are gonna spin out. So fingertips are pointing towards the back end of your mat. And then you're gonna walk your hands back just a little bit. Once you've found a little bit of space where you feel like you're leaning back into your hands, press into your palms, squeeze your shoulder blades, lift your chest, lift your chin. And then keeping that lifting of the chest and lifting opening of the front of the body. Now we're gonna take a couple of nods of the head up and down. So you're gonna move your head up and down at a depth of work that feels good to you. Awesome, take one more nod of the head up and down. And then we're gonna bring the head to a neutral position, slide your hands forward, step your feet out in front of you with this. We're still gonna keep the legs long, but still keep that generous bend in the knees. Think up and over with the belly. So we're gonna inhale, lift up and over, exhale, reach towards your feet. We're gonna to touch the toes and then hands are gonna find the sides of the legs. Drag your hands up the sides of the legs, a little lymphatic movement there, and then reach it up and overhead, big, big giant lift reach towards your toes. Hands are going to touch the toes and then find the sides of the feet. Slide up, put a little pressure on as you drag those hands up. And then we're going to do that just one more time. Inhale and reach up. 
Exhale, reach towards your feet, touch your toes, and then find the sides of your feet, slide your hands up. Nice, and then hands behind you just with a soft elbow shape, step, step your feet back in, and then we're just gonna come into some windshield wipers here. Rock across your glutes best you can find. Let your knees move, let your thigh bones move. Beautiful, one more time each side and then we're just gonna swing the legs out so we get a little zigzag seat. So one leg in front, one leg out to the side. Just get yourself just comfortable enough and then we're gonna take it into a twist. So the leg that's in front, that's the leg we're gonna rotate towards. Go light on your twist rather than trying to leverage and get as deep into that twist as you can. Just find a light bit of rotation in the spine and then take about three nice deep breaths here. Awesome, and then when you're ready, unwind, keep your legs in that zigzag shape. We're gonna walk forward into a little forward fold. So now we're gonna walk out the leg that's in front of you, walk past your shin, just to a depth that feels good. Maybe you'll find a little sensation in your glute or deep into your hip. So take a moment to just kind of tune in and notice. Take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. Excellent, and then when you're ready, come up nice and slow. We're gonna swing the legs out and around to the other side. So take your time as you reposition your legs. <clears throat> Find that zigzag seat that works good for you. And then once you feel like you're there, soften your rotation, rotate towards the front leg. And then once you've got your rotation that feels good, just come back to your breath, noticing your inhalation. Notice your exhalation. Beautiful, and then when you're ready, unwind, and then we're gonna take it into that little fold. So you're gonna walk yourself out and towards that front leg, past that front shin, just finding a fold, a depth of work that feels good to you. And then once you're there, take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. Wonderful, walk yourself back up, swing your legs out in front of you, and we're gonna just floss the nerves going down the legs before we come down onto the ground. So grab hold of the back of your right leg, pick that leg up and then hold it in that more upright position. As you inhale, you're gonna lift your chin, lift your foot, flex your foot. Exhale, bring your foot down, tuck your chin slightly towards your chest. Inhale, lift your foot, lift your chin, flex your foot. Exhale to lower it down and tuck, tuck your chin slightly. Do that one more time. Inhale, lift your foot, lift your chin. Exhale to lower down, tuck your chin slightly, neutral position with the head, and then grab the other leg. Pick it up and hold it slightly close to the chest. Inhale, lift your foot, flex your foot, lift your chin. Exhale and lower everything down. Inhale, lift your foot, lift your chin. Exhale, lower your foot, tuck your chin slightly. Nice, one more time through. Inhale, lift your foot, lift your chin. Exhale to lower it down, and then head finds a neutral position. Step both feet on the ground, and now we're gonna place our hands on the outside of the legs, but we're gonna push the hands in and the knees are gonna create a little resistance. So knees are kind of pushing out, hands are kind of pushing in. And then once you've found that sense of resistance, we're gonna slide down the legs. So we're gonna engage the abdominal muscles. We're gonna roll down through the spine, but the hands are pushing in and the knees are pushing out. So the legs and the arms stay strong and active the whole way down. Wonderful. And then once you've found your way down to the ground, we're going to step the feet in a little closer to the butt. So we're prepping for a bridge position here. So heels close to the butt, feet about hip width distance apart. Give a second, let your back connect to the ground. Let your shoulder heads find a nice place. Make sure your clothes and your hair are in a good comfortable position. And then hands down alongside the hips. We're going to move right into a pelvic tilt from here. Press your low back into the ground and release to the natural curve of your back. Press your low back into the ground. Release to the natural curve of your back. Take about three more cycles of breath here, just moving with your breaths for them. Excellent. And now we're going to take it into our halfway bridge. So rather than that big giant yoga bridge where we lift the hips and lift the heart and lift the chin slightly, we're going to keep our hands solid on the ground. As you exhale, you're going to lift your hips up and think about keeping the backs of your ribs connecting towards the ground. Inhale and release your hips back down. 
Exhale, lift your hips up. Inhale, release back down. Exhale to lift. Inhale to release down. Take a few more cycles of breath. And here's one of those places where, especially if we're working on that hip health, if you can find it, the exhale as you lift up and the inhale as you lower down is the preferred breath pattern here. The next time you exhale and lift up into that bridge, we're gonna hold it there. Shoulder heads are gonna anchor down. We're gonna think about reaching the knees towards the toes. It's not an actual reach, but we wanna just create that line of energy through the tops of the thighs, through that front pocket area. Arms are anchored nice and firm on the ground. Head is in a nice neutral position. Take one more moment here, just finding that strength through the backs of the legs, through the front hips. And then when you're ready with control, release your hips back down to the ground. Right knee is gonna pull into your chest, give a light little squeeze, and then we're gonna switch right over to the other side. Left knee is gonna pull into the chest, give a light little squeeze. We're gonna keep that bent knee position so it's not too much work, just switching from side to side. Pull the right knee into the chest and then the left, and just take a few times finding a nice fluid rhythm that makes sense to you. Great, now the next time you pull your right knee into your chest, hang on to that knee, take the knee and draw it in circles, go in one direction. Draw your knee in circles, go the other way. Beautiful, and then we're gonna send that foot up towards the ceiling, point the toe, and then we're gonna draw little circles on the ceiling with our toe. So you're gonna keep your left foot nice and anchored. You're gonna keep your belly button drawing down towards your spine so that your abdominal muscles stay kicked on. And we're keeping that motion nice and controlled. And we're just drawing a circle on the ceiling with the toe, keeping the leg nice and engaged, nice and controlled. And then when you're ready, we're gonna reverse directions and go the other way. Wonderful, take one more circle around and then we're gonna bend that knee, bring it back in towards the chest. Now we're gonna swing that knee out to the right. So we're gonna swing it out nice and wide towards the right shoulder, open the hip up just a little bit. Take a second, take a breath. And then if it feels good, you're gonna circle your foot, circle it in one direction. Circle your foot the other way. Nice, and then bring that knee back through center, but now we're gonna pass it over to the left hand. So you're gonna take that knee into your left hand and draw it towards your left shoulder. So slightly across the midline of the body, you might feel some sensation in the IT band or down into your glute, just subtle variations to where we might find sensation here. Take one more moment. Awesome, and then when you're ready, release that foot through center, set it down, and we're gonna switch over to the other side. Pull that left knee into your chest, take the knee, draw it in circles, go in one direction. Take your knee, draw it in circles, go the other way. Beautiful, and now we're gonna anchor into the right leg. So right leg is gonna stay solid, left foot's gonna extend up towards the ceiling, point your toe, and then we're gonna draw circles on the ceiling with our toe. Keeping your right foot anchored, keeping the abdominal muscles kicked on so you're not wobbling all over the place. There's a sense of control to this motion. Beautiful, and then when you're ready, take those circles and draw them the other way. Nice, and then when you're ready, release that knee back toward your chest, give it a light little squeeze. Now we're gonna swing that knee out to the left, open it wide so the knee is towards the shoulder. Once you're there and things feel good, maybe you circle your left foot in one direction. And then maybe circle that foot the other way. Nice, and then when you're ready, we're gonna pass that knee over to the other hand towards the right shoulder so it comes slightly across the midline of the body. Take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. 
release, and we're gonna roll over onto the right side. So roll over into a fetal position. The bottom hand can be stacked wherever feels the most supportive just to find that sideline position. And then we're gonna to try to keep our knees stacked. We're gonna to try to keep our hips stacked, but the upper hand is gonna reach up and over and try to catch the opposite side of the head. So now we're gonna keep the knees together. The head and the foot are gonna lift up. So we're gonna lift that top foot, lift the head up, get that little squeeze in the side of the body and then release it back down with control. Inhale and lift up, exhale to lower down. Inhale, lift up, exhale, lower down. Two more to go, inhale, lift up, exhale, lower down. Nice, one more time through, inhale, lift, exhale, lower. And then you're gonna just support the head with the bottom hand and we're just gonna glide the hip. So we're gonna push that top knee forward and then pull that top knee back. Push the top knee forward, pull that top knee back. Take about three more just like that. Gliding that knee past the bottom knee, pulling it back, mostly finding that movement or shift from your hips. Awesome, one more glide. And then we're gonna flip and roll over to the other side. I'm gonna flip around so I'm facing out to the camera, but you just flip over in any way that works good for you. Find your little fetal position, sideline position. Knees are gonna stay stacked, hips are gonna stay stacked. And then once you've got that, top hand is gonna reach up and over so that you catch hold of the side of the head. And then we're gonna keep the knees together as you lift that top heel up. Lift the head, squeeze it to the side body, release it back down with control. Inhale to lift up, exhale to release. Inhale, lift. Exhale to release. Nice, take about two or three more, just finding a pace that works good for you. Beautiful, and then once you've completed that last one, let your head rest wherever feels most comfortable. And now we're just taking it down to the hips. So we're gliding that top knee forward and back. The hips push forward slightly and then pull back, but everything else stays as stable as it can. Take one or two more glides of the knee. And then when you feel ready, roll back onto your back. I'm just gonna flip all the way around, but you just roll onto your back. Take a moment. As you come back onto your back, just pause for a moment. Find a sense of even heaviness in the hips. So kind of tune in, notice those front hip points. Let those front hip points get nice and heavy towards the ground. Take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. And now we're gonna take the right leg up into a figure four. So the right leg is gonna come across the left. We're gonna go hands free to start. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale to lower it back down. Inhale to lift your left leg up. Exhale to lower down. Inhale to lift up. Exhale to lower down. And this time we're gonna thread the hands through. So as you lift up, you're gonna either hold on to the back of the thigh or the top of the shin. That's just whatever handhold feels the most comfortable. But now we're gonna rock or wobble your figure four a little side to side. Cool, one more little wobble of that figure four side to side. We're gonna keep the figure four shape, but now we're gonna loose our hands away from that grab and let that figure four drop over to the left. So right leg is across, the right foot is gonna sink over to the left. So we're gonna find a little twist in our figure four. Once that foot touches down to the ground, drop your right shoulder, turn your head to the right. And then maybe if it feels good, left hand is gonna find the right inner thigh and you're gonna push the inner thigh open just gently. Make sure that feels like a safe configuration for your knee and it feels like a good sensation in the hip. If that creates anything that feels off, then you might leave that part off so that it just feels like a nice, happy situation. Take one more breath. If your hand is on the inner side, go ahead and release it. And now we're gonna take that figure four and drop it all the way over and across to the other side. So you're gonna keep your foot on top if you can. Drop the legs over to the right, sink down, feeling a little sensation hopefully here through that front left pocket area. Take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. And then bring your legs back to center. Lift your left leg up, thread your hands through, grab the back of the thigh, pull it in as tight towards your chest as feels good to you. Take one big breath. 
Awesome. And then release with control. Step your right foot off the left. Left foot's going to come right across the right. And then we're going back to that hands-free maneuver. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale to lower down. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale to lower down. One more time, hands-free. Inhale, lift your leg up. Exhale to lower down, awesome. And then we're gonna lift up, thread the hands through and wobble the figure four a little side to side. Awesome, one more little wobble side to side and now we're gonna drop the left foot over to the right. So you're gonna release your handhold, drop that foot over to the right. Once that foot touches down to the ground, you're gonna anchor your left shoulder Maybe your right hand to the inner thigh pushes the thigh open only if that feels good. And then maybe you turn your head in the opposite direction of your knees. If your hand is on your inner thigh, go ahead and release it. Head returns to center. Take those legs in that figure four shape and drop them over and across to the other side. So they're gonna sink down to the left. Make sure that feels like a safe and comfortable place for your right knee, for your right hip. If all is feeling good, take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. And then float those legs back to center, lift the right leg up, thread your hands through, grab the back of the thigh, and this time bring it in for that squeeze. Just as close toward your chest as feels good. Take one nice big breath. Awesome, and then with control, release your foot down to the ground, step your left foot off, feet about hip width distance apart. We're gonna come back to those halfway hip bridges. So hands down alongside the hips, press into your feet, exhale, lift your hips up, inhale and lower back down. Exhale, lift your hips up, inhale, lower down. One more time, exhale, lift the hips up, inhale to lower down, beautiful. Pull your right knee into your chest. Let your left leg go nice and long. Hang out here, take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. A light little twist. We're gonna take the right knee over and across the body to the left, just to the point where you open all the way up and then right away, bring that leg right back in. Hug your knee into your chest, switching sides. Left knee is gonna pull into the chest. Right leg is gonna go nice and long. Hang out here, take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out, beautiful. And then take that left knee over and across the body into a light version of supine twist. So the minute that you find your edge, you're gonna pull that knee right back into your chest, bring the right knee into meet, one last little squeeze of those knees. And then we're gonna set the feet down, move right into banana nasana. So feet down onto the ground, shift your hips over to the right, walk your feet down to the left corner of your mat, Arms are gonna reach up and overhead, finding the top left corner of our mat. So we're making a little crescent shape with the body, a little side bench. So hopefully you're feeling some good stretcher sensation through the right side. Take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. Two more cycles of breath. If your arms are up and overhead, go ahead and soften and release. Bring your head back to a neutral position. Step your feet in and we're gonna move right onto the other side. So push into your feet, shift your hips over to the left side of your mat. Walk your feet down to the right corner of your mat. Arms up to the top right corner of your mat. So we find that little curve of the spine going in the other direction now. Awesome, and then when you're ready, slowly and softly release. Walk your feet back in, shift your hips back to center, realign your spine, and then find your way right into constructive rest. Toe heel your feet out just a little bit, let your knees drop in towards each other, readjust your spine, your shoulders, your tailbone, make sure everything feels good. And then once you've found your way here, we're gonna bring both hands to the belly. So just let your hands rest gently on your belly. Allow your breath to slow down here, just let it return to its natural rhythm.
Soften your toes. Soften your calves and your shins. You always have the option to stay in this place of stillness just as long as you like. But if you feel ready to gently reawaken the body, start to wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes, invite any little bit of movement in that feels good. And then before we come up to a seated position, we're gonna move a little bit before we come all the way up. So if you like, bring your arms into little I dream of genie arms across the chest and gently pull the elbows side to side. Awesome. One more little pull of the elbow side to side, and then the arms are going to open up into a little cactus or bowl post situation and start to turn your head gently side to side. Nice. Take one more turn of the head side to side, and then wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, and then slowly start to find your way up to a comfortable seated position. So maybe coming up to Sukhasana with legs crossed or any other comfortable seat that allows you to just sit up nice and tall. So anything that might feel good in your body. And then once you've found a fairly comfortable seated position with a nice tall lifted spine, we're going to take a couple little gentle TikToks of the head side to side. So just think ear drops towards the shoulder and then ear drops over to the other shoulder. Beautiful, now the next time your left ear drops over to the left shoulder, stay there. We're gonna keep the ear drop down, but now turn your nose down like you're trying to tip your nose down towards your armpit, take a nice big breath in. Turn your ear back towards the shoulder, lift your head up to center, and then we're going to drop it over to the other side. So ear is going to tip towards the shoulder, take a nice big breath. And then turn your nose down towards your armpit. Tip your ear back to your shoulder, lift your head back to center. We're going to stack our hands on top of the heart with a little gentle pressure, draw a couple of circles in one direction. Draw a couple of circles the other way. Beautiful, and then keep your hands in a nice still position. Bow your head to your heart. Close your eyes down or just soften your gaze. Breathing in love and gratitude for yourself, for your mind, for your body and the time that you take to take care of yourself. And breathe in a little extra love and gratitude that you can carry with you through the rest of your night and share with everyone you see. 
And then when you feel ready, gently lift up through the top of your head, gently open your eyes. I bow to you. Happy Wednesday.